stuff from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and the Savora, Savora, Savora VIB. It actually wasn't the VIB sale. It's like Sephora was having the same exact sales as Ulta was for their 21 Days of Beauty, so long as they, they carried the same products. So I get a bunch of eyeshadow palettes. And this is the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Like a Boss palette. I got this from Sephora. This was 50% off. Absolutely love Violet Voss. Like it's my favorite, favorite, favorite. But I had been waiting. I think it retails for like $45. So I had been waiting for it to go 50% off. The other thing that I got was Anastasia Brow Definer. It's similar to the one that I love, the Goof Proof from um, Benefit. It's in the shade Soft Brown. I got a backup of my Precisely My Brow pencil. I absolutely love this. This is like my favorite. It's 50% off. It's like a 20 something dollar pencil, so 50% off is good. I also got this Natasha Denona Foundation X Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 75Y Dark. It's a yellow dark undertone. This is being discontinued, so it was really, really, really cheap. And I did get a dark shade, which is gonna be too dark for me. However, um, I mix my foundations and I use this Too Faced Do You quite a bit, and it is in a, the color porcelain. This one's too light for me, so I'm gonna mix and see if I can get sort of more of a, a perfect shade. This is the Urban Decay Inked Brow Up to 60 Hour Wear like a brow tint and this is in the color cafe kitten and it's a warm brown warm medium brown let's try this out i'm also going to try out this clinique all about eyes i've used this in the past this was 50 percent off so i grabbed one up so i got this all nighter long wear mattifying powder from urban decay i've really been hearing a lot of good things about this so we're going to try that i got for the first time the mac uh, paint pot in the color soft ochre i've heard so much about these um so i definitely wanted to get it when it was 50 percent off and I definitely want to use this. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Long Lasting Matte Lipstick. This is in the limited edition, the one that they have in Cinnamon Bun. I love their Melted Matte Formula and also their limited edition. That is all that we're going to use from what I got, okay? And we will talk about it. I don't normally do get ready with get ready. Or I don't normally do get ready with me's, but people like me to do them, and they've asked for a long time, so I'm trying to appease and so we will go through these products i will do the rest of the haul in a separate video All right, let's get this started the wig that i'm wearing is outre's allura i'm gonna review for it after i film this okay let's go ahead and start with clinique all about eyes cream and i'm gonna prep the under eye i'm like on and off with the skincare i have been focusing on it a lot more lately i feel like a lot of my skincare sort of issues or my skin issues or how my skin is. I feel like the condition my skin is in is a lot to do with heredity, to be honest with you, but also has a lot to do with me like using sunscreen and sunglasses and things like that. There is one place and I had someone make a really mean comment to me, but I mean, it is what it is. I am like a, all about sunscreen all the time. The one place that I have not really paid attention to is right here on my lip and it's gotten quite bad over the last couple months, but this is what's called melasma, and it's basically sun damage, darkened skin from sun damage. It can be corrected, it does take a few months. I am working on it. Uh, when I do my skincare video, I'll talk about the products that I'm using to uh, sort of fix these dark marks. Someone said it looks makes me look like I have like a five o'clock shadow or something, which, you know what, what if I did? Like, that's so rude. People do. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is just take this finger here and just run right around the rim and get about that much. Um, and I'm just gonna tap it in under my eye. I have pretty bad dark circles. I've kind of always had them, to be honest with you. That feels really good. This is a very thick cream though, just so you know. I always do my base first. I know some people like to do their eyeshadow first. I just don't, I never have. I've tried the past, I hated it. So, um, so I'm gonna open up, I've never tried this. This is this Natasha Denona do is put it on the back side of my hand here and let's see how but I'm just gonna pump out like one little see it is pretty watery and it's a full coverage foundation so that's really really interesting then I'm gonna take my Too Faced uh, Do You in the color porcelain and just put that right in the middle and you can see the difference in shade it's gonna take my real techniques this is their foundation brush I'm pretty sure it's called the buffing brush. I have like a jillion of these. And I'm just gonna sort of move my hand to like mix this around. And then let's see what color we end up getting. 
That's actually not too bad, to be honest with you. I thought it would be way worse because it seemed like it was dark. It is sort of a yellow undertone, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna work this into the skin. I do not put foundation on my forehead. And part of the reason for that is I feel like I don't need it on my forehead. And my forehead is kind of the place where I am actually getting wrinkles. And I found if I don't put foundation on it, then I don't have to worry about it settling or whatever. And I don't feel like it matters. I don't have tons of wrinkles except for my laugh lines. <laughs> Other places. So I'm not sure what I'll do when I do start getting. That's nice. You can kind of see on there how smooth that is. So I'm liking how it feels mixed with this. So it's sort of like a... I did like a one-to-one. A -one. This one I don't really like on its own, but when it's mixed in with full coverage foundations, this is a very light coverage foundation and it's very dewy. I have very oily skin. So I feel like mixed with more of a full coverage foundation, it just brings it down to be a little bit more of a, a natural finish. Okay, okay. So next we're gonna do brows. So I'm gonna take this, I'm pretty sure this is from Eco Tools. It's just a spoolie and I don't have, obviously, you can see, I don't have a ton of, like, natural brows. So I like to really make sure that I sort of, like, gruff them up a little bit and spool them up. Because I want to bring my eye up. I've never used this product before. Like, those kind of things. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this Anastasia Beverly Hills, the, the brow definer in the color Soft Brown. And I'm just going to outline where I want my brows to be before we start going in with this 60 hour situation I go and I on this side I start at the bottom so if you can see my eyebrows this one goes up higher than this one so in this one I start at the bottom and I sort of just bring that brow up see to where I want it to be on this side I'm really the bottom is where I need it to be so I'm going to fill in just right in this area and I just use long strokes and just sort of this natural like brow or curve, natural to me. This is how I like my brows. Like I said, everybody's different. Now I'm gonna create the top line and bring it in to meet the side just like that. And on this one, I don't really necessarily need to, to create something above. I'm just gonna fill in a little bit on the bottom and then right in this area. And then if you look, they should be fairly equal. I mean, our eyes are not equal. I'm going to go in with this. I do not know how this is going to work. <laughs> this is sort of like a brush. So what I'm going to do is take the pointed edge and sort of bring it up along and fill in where I would want the brows to be. And I'm not using a ton of product at all. I'm almost making strokes. And just want to make sure I spoolie up my natural brows just so that it sort of fills in there. I like it so far. Let's go in one more time. I'm trying to get like a lot of excess product off because I know with these type of, you know, billion hour things, the biggest issue is when you like get too much product. Hi, kitten. When you're doing your opposite eye, sometimes I find it, it can be hard to make them even. So in this one, where I would be going like this. I'm actually going to come up this way. Just so I can mimic, mimic the strokes. So on this side, I would just go like this. I write with my right hand when I was, oh, I don't know. I think I was, I was in the, I want to say I was in third grade. I broke this arm so badly that I broke it in two places and I couldn't use my arm for, for a very long time. And I learned to write with my left hand because of that. And I still can, but I don't you know, do it too often. All right, so that looks great. Now we're just gonna finish up, and yes, I use a lot of brow products because I don't have natural brows and I want them to look a certain way. So I'm gonna get this one out. This is the Precisely My Brow in the color three, which says it's warm, light brown, which is supposed to be the same as this, and it comes like this, and I absolutely love this. Love it! Like, I know you can get cheaper brow products. I just absolutely love this. I love the ergonomics of it. I just love the whole thing. It is like in the 20 something dollar range. That's why I just wait until it's 50% off, and then I get a couple so that I feel like I'm not, and I use it, I use this completely up. 
it was something I wasn't going to use completely up, it'd be different. So really I'm just filling in any sort of holes. But I know I use it, I know I love it. So again, I'm going to come like up and get these. I don't have to fill in this side as much because I have more brow over here. It is feeling quite, so far I am, I am liking this product. I don't know how it wears, but I have used other ones like Wonder Brow and I've really liked that. This feels a little bit lighter than Wonder Brow. And then I'm gonna get this 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. Again, this is another one I get when it's on sale. I absolutely love this. I am potentially gonna try one from ColourPop because I've heard that's really, really good and I love ColourPop, but I always go back to this one because I feel like it really works. I use this, so it has a sort of a double-sided brush. It has like, see how it's like flat like that? So I use the bristles to brush it up, the hairs, to keep them in place. And then I actually use the flat side and just sort of run it along my whole brow to set it down and keep it from not going anywhere. I have a whole brow playlist. There's a bunch of stuff that I've done with my brow. So yeah, okay, so that's that. I'm really happy so far. This is what we're looking like. Okay, so the next thing is I'm gonna use an eyeshadow powder that I've not used before, so I don't wanna dust this powder off just yet because I'm not sure how it's going to work. I put cheeks on, cheeks and highlight on last just because we have to sweep this powder away. So let's go ahead and we're gonna use this MAC Pate Pot. I, I do a lot of research on everything and I watch, he's a makeup artist, a working makeup artist from the UK. This is what the paint pot looks like. And he's really saying how, Robert Welsh, and um, I'll link his channel. And he's really saying basically like you should not use concealer, which is what I used to use. You should actually use a eyeshadow base and this was 50% off. So I was like, okay, it's it's time. I don't really use MAC products ever. So I'm just running my ring finger, the same finger that I used for my cream. And I'm just gonna, if you, as you can see, this soft ochre is pretty close to my skin color. I also watch a channel called uh, Makeup Just For Fun. I la -la -la -la. love her channel, her reviews. Uh, she's much lighter than me. And she uses this in Painterly. And every single review she does, she just uses the MAC Paint Pot. So you can kind of see before and after. This is just going to give a base for our eyeshadow to stick. I also watched this uh, YouTuber. Her name's Jamie Friend. She does a lot of like, she was a, a makeup artist. She's changing her content up a little bit. But she does a lot of like parodies in terms of like if... If there were beauty gurus like in the 80s or 90s or the 2000s and she does one I'll link her channel too or those videos because they're so funny but she does one where she's talking about beauty gurus from 2014 and 2000 I think 2014 and she was just like just go ahead and go ahead and just go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and go ahead with this shade right here and then we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and then you're just gonna go ahead and it's just funny uh, you have to watch it but every time I say go ahead and I think of that so we are going to open up the eyeshadow palette. I have a video on my favorite eyeshadow palette from Violet Boss that I got. And that's the Flamingo palette. And then they just recently, which I believe is still available. And then they recently came up with a follow-up one. I wanted to do a video like comparing the two or using the two together. If you want to see that, I'll link the first one up. If you want to see a video like that, just go ahead and let me know. Just go ahead and go ahead. Well, the one thing about Violet Boss, I think the the shadows are so high quality but like their like art is struggling like what what is this it, this looks like cheap cheap makeup it is not it is a 40 something dollar palette and the quality is amazing so it just is so annoying that they who's designing this this is what it looks like it's like so fall so jewel tone. So fall. So fall. I love fall. Okay, it's got this beautiful big mirror. I want to just swatch a couple. This shade's called Amaze Balls. Really? <gasps> I want to swatch this one, this extra, this Smart AF, Girl Crush, Royal, and also Adulting and see what that is all about. Oh, they're so soft. Like, seriously. The first up we have is the Amaze Balls Girl Crush Adulting 
Wow. And we have Extra Smart AF, which is a duochrome. Extra is not a duochrome. Smart AF is. And then the last one is Royal. Oh my gosh. Wow. You can see this is the Smart AF and it is a duochrome. It's got that green, red, pinky shift. I'm going to first start out with the color right here called WCW and just work it into the crease. I'm going to use this. This is a brush from Profusion. This was a Vegas Nay collection for like a jillion years ago, but you can still find these Profusion brushes. I absolutely love them. Um, Profusion can be found like at Target and you can get them at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls. They are actually an indie brand and people don't know that. Their stuff is pretty high quality for the price, but their brushes I absolutely love, price or no. So what I like to do is I like to kind of lean my head back and we're just going to put this right in the crease. Look how beautifully that is just going on. I waited on this palette for so, 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 so long. I just happened to see that it was like, I think it was 50% off and it was like random. And I was like, you know what? I've loved it for so long. The shadow can be built up quite a bit, but it's not really, it's not giving me like a lot of fallout or anything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work it on the other side. With that same brush, just to deepen up a little bit, I think I'm gonna go into this Motivate shade right here. I wanna stick a little on the cooler side. There is a little bit of kick up on that shadow. There wasn't almost any at all on the WCW. I'm gonna tilt my head on the side just so that I can concentrate it right in the corner. Yeah, you can see I'm getting a little fallout there. We're going to go in and blend it in using windshield wipe motions. This fluffy brush, I'm going to like really fluff out the edges just to sort of smooth that out and smooth that into that other color. Okie dokie dokie! I think I'm going to use this color here, which is the Girl Crush, all over the lid. And then maybe one of these two to highlight. What's this baddie about at the top? That's a little bit too pink for me, so I'm going to use... This on the lid and maybe these two um, as far as highlights. So I'm going to go in with in the Wet n Wild brush set from last year. This pretty large flat brush. I'm going to wet my brush with some Morphe setting spray. This was just like a limited edition one. I hate Morphe, but I love their setting spray. So this is the only product I buy from them. And I'm just going to go ahead and wet my brush because I really want it to be intense. I pull my eye just so I make sure I get it in because I do have slightly hooded eyes. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I just do. Wow, that looks so pretty. Oh, this is Girl Crush. I'm actually using the wrong shade, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. This is the golder shade. I wanted to use this one, but we'll use this one um, like towards the outer. Spray my brush a little bit more. I'm just using the same brush. And I'm just going to concentrate it right out here in the sort of outer V part. Just on the lid, but on the outer portion. Yeah, that looks really pretty. I am going to bring it just up and across right in the crease above the yellow just to sort of define that. I'm going to take that blending brush that I had from before and I'm just going to go in and sort of re-blend right around the top of where we just added color. So I just swatched this swag color here and it's this sort of light yellow. So we're gonna use that for the inner corner. This is like a random brush from a cargo palette. I hate double-ended brushes in general, but I like this end. And we're just gonna go into swag. It's a little powdery. I might need to wet my brush on this. And I put every in the inner corner because I feel like it wakes my eyes up a little bit. And then I always bring it down a little bit on the lower lash line just because if not, it just looks like it'll goop up. I also always put shadow on my lower lash line. I didn't always used to do that. And I'm just going to use the other end of this. But I feel like when I start, like, if you have concealer and powder underneath, it just looks better. I think I'm just going to go in with that WCW on the lower lash line. Like, do you see the difference? I know it's like, it doesn't seem like much, but I feel like it makes it not look so like stark white. And there's just a definition there. I just really like what happens when you put shadow on the lower lash line. We're almost done. 
So I'm going to go ahead and use one of these NARS blushes. They're sort of old. This one is in Gulag. I think it's Gulag. Let's go ahead and try this Gulag one and see what happens. I just don't know. Like I said, they're fairly old. And I'm going to use this Real Techniques contour brush, but I use it for cheeks. Um, I mean, it's picking up product. I really like to highlight, you know, my cheeks. So I always smile and I start right there. And then I do circular motions and bring it up on my cheekbone. It's important that you really get to know your own face. It's everybody's face and their structure. Um, the application of makeup is a little bit different uh, depending on what you're trying to highlight and all of that. So I really encourage you to, to learn about your face structure and makeup placement for your face. It's all well and good to follow somebody. But if you don't have the same face structure, you can't do makeup the exact same. I'm just gonna top it off with this Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in Berry Truffle. It's pretty shimmery and I like shimmer. I know some people are like, it's certain age you can't wear shimmer. I don't care. And I'm just going to get right on those apples so that when I hee 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 hee, I don't want so cheeky. And I usually have to do it with a blush and I don't care. Next, we're gonna put on some highlighter. I'm gonna use one of these tried and true sort of wet and wild highlighters. Let's go ahead and use Blossom, Blossom Glow. I think you can still get this one. And I'm gonna use this brush from e.l.f. And this is their Flawless Concealer, Flawless Concealer brush. And I, I liked the, the pattern that was in here, so I really concentrate my brush over here. And I'm just going to, in circular motions, bring it right here and actually like in a C motion around and do that. I also like to do a little bit on my nose. Just a little bit, not a lot. Put eyeliner and lashes on. I know a lot of people don't do this on camera. I almost always use the same exact liquid liner. This is the ColourPop BFF liquid liner in the color black. This is my absolute favorite. Um, I like to pull my eye like this and I bring it across the lash line. I actually have my brush like flat, not like this. And then I move it up and wing it out a little bit, just like that. This one I go the opposite way, I kick out. This one I think is getting a tad bit dry. I always store them tip down. I'm about to do a video on the Halloween nails and lashes, but I, wear Halloween lashes all year round and I know I got one pair that had like two of the same one this one there'll be a whole video on this but I'm gonna go ahead and use these these are the kiss hocus pocus lashes these are the Halloween lashes for this year 2021 and this is in the style Helena I don't I always shy away from doing get ready with me's because I feel like they're so boring and they're long and it's like do you actually want to see me putting on makeup and talking about makeup I don't know so I started out as a beauty channel but my channel actually really didn't blow it's not blow up actually today I'm at 4,000 subscribers which um, I'm really excited about but my channel didn't really start to grow until I started doing wig content so I don't do as much beauty content but some people really want me to so I might add that in here and there. That's what they look like. They really remind me, these are my velour lashes and they remind me a lot of my velour lashes, which are a little bit more expensive. These are kind of, yeah, these are kind of big for my eye for every day. So I actually cut them in half. So then essentially I have like two pairs of lashes. So let me cut them in half and then I will um, come back and put them on with you. I've cut them and since I cut them in half here, then I end up switching them around so that the long side is really out towards the edge. I always use the duo lash glue, I've just always used that. My thing is I always put too much glue on, first of all, and I never wait until it's tacky enough. You really should wait until it's tacky before you start applying the lash. So you wanna blow on it, make sure that it's tacky. I'm so impatient, I just can't. And before you do this, you should actually do, I actually roll the band to break up the band a little bit so they're not like straight your eye is curved and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it right in the middle and 
so it's really just going to be on the middle and outside of my eye. This is how I use lashes that are meant for Halloween all year round, is I basically cut them in half, so I have two different types of eyelashes. Now you can see this is what I have going on right here, and then this is the set that would be left which is a little bit more dramatic on the ends. Sometimes I actually stack them, so I cut them, and I have a video on it, if I remember I'll link it. I cut them and then I'll put these bigger um, pieces right on the edge so that they're stacked towards the end, but they're not coming in too far. I don't like lashes to come in too far. For my eye shape and like, they just bother me. So I do think it's a pretty look. So I'm really happy with these. Okay, we're almost done now. Now let's go in with this all night powder. I was I think I was watching Andrea Monteliago and I'll link her channel. If not, everything will be down below. But she really talked about liking this all night powder from Urban Decay. Ooh, this is like, it feels like water, like it's raised. Ooh -wee. So it's supposed to be a translucent powder. This is what it looks like. But yeah, someone said to go in with a damp sponge. I don't normally do this, so we'll see. I'm just gonna use this Evian. It's like a facial spray, it's water. <laughs> My sponge, this is an eco tools. Kit Kat's like, what are you doing? I said, I've never done this really. I've never wet my powder. Just to sort of set in the areas where I know that I tend to either break down or I get oily. Uh, right in here, like between my brows. Oh, that did definitely make us. So if you see the shine right here, I'm gonna put this powder on. This does make a difference, wow. Like I can notice it, wow. Cause I can be an oily girl. I was afraid to wet um, powders like this cause I'm afraid they'll get hard pan. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is this lip color. It is a matte lipstick, you do not need a liner with this. It really, I love this formula, but I am gonna use, so this is just so you can see in comparison to the pumpkin one, it's lighter than that. In comparison to the gingerbread man, it's much cooler toned and not as brown as that. This is the hot buttered rum. Mm, those look similar, but this is more orangey than this. This is like one of their ones that they have all the time. It's called Sellout. It's close to Sellout. I'm gonna use a lip liner from ColourPop. I think I'm gonna use a cool BFF. Uh, because I put powder and stuff on my lip, I have to make sure that I put uh, liner there because it looks like my lip is like oh, very small, but it's not. I always do the cute. I always do the cupid's bow first. I actually don't line my whole lip. I line in places I think will bleed. And I also line here, I have a scar here. This is where I was, I was little, jumping on the couch and I jumped through my glass coffee table and my tooth went through my lip there. And then I just actually line right in the center. What I'm gonna do is make sure that I get a lot off of this brush so I don't put too much product on. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill in. And then I'm gonna take the tip of the brush and actually go over the cute though, like to line it kind of. Mm, it's darker than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be lighter. Sellout is, although it looks darker in, no, they look similar. These do dry down and they do stay in place. And they smell so good. This does smell like, it does smell like cinnamon bun. If you see me, I really only ever wear um, a nude colored lipstick. And usually I either wear a matte, like I like the Juvia's Place ones, or just a gloss in general. Right now I'm really liking the ColourPop ones. You want to make sure you get sort of the inside of the lip so you don't get like butthole mouth. I'm going to let it dry down. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is pretty.
Oh, I'm gonna use this all the time, and I'm so excited I got this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember I really wanted this gingerbread man. It came out three years ago, and then the next year they had the gingerbread girl or boy or whatever, and I was like, I don't want that one. It was a different shade. Then I got this one that came out. Um, they brought it back, and I was like so excited. Okay, so the last thing that I do is I set all of my makeup. This continuous setting spray. It's got a beautiful mister. And then we're done. This is the finished look. So far, I love the eyeshadow. I love Violet Voss in general. Um, the lipstick, I'm loving. Pretty impressed with the powder. The brow, I really like. It's not as... I thought it was going to be like the Wonder Brow, which is way, way, way too like thick. I think this is really good. So that's what I have for you for this get ready with me, this fall type of look. Going over some stuff that I got from the uh, VI, I keep saying VIB, <laughs> the Alta 21 Days of Beauty and from Sephora. And yeah, let me know what you think about this video. I will be doing a review on this wig right here, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have, thanks so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!